ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our episode here on Past Each of Skin. Today we're looking at a little bit of an indie fun playtime game called Maze. And if you haven't noticed, it's Maze with Maze. And it's actually inside Maze. So the, um, the gameplay is more of a uh, DRS or uh, Firewatch walking simulator where you pick up a lot of things and place them in the right place to actually activate the next event to go off. But I actually had a good time playing through this. It's a short experience. But a fun experience, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a full game experience because there's no real puzzles or anything to solve that aren't already, aren't very prevalent and easy to figure out. The only thing I'm missing from it when I, for my playthrough was that I didn't collect all of the folio bits and pieces. So I'm going to have to play through this one more time just so I can get the platinum trophy because I missed out 10 of the things. But uh, uh, yes, yeah, I'll overwrite my progress, but I know I'll have to do it anyway. So why not? I'm imagining there, there, there's a feeling that the game actually only has one or two endings of any sort based on like a simple decision you make. But outside of that, the game is a linear story-driven narrative based around being find, find yourself in a cornfield at the very beginning. Hi there to our viewers actually on the live stream as well. Thank you very much for joining us. We're actually having a Norway look at Maze again here on the channel. So, yeah... As much fun as it is, there's that little bit of dodge in this where you like you saw a head, your head passing through the ground surface underneath you. Uh, if you didn't notice, the main menu looks really, really obviously to be a, a it's, uh, not, it's the Unreal Engine menu, isn't it? As far as I like, I've, I've know that people have complained about it before. Like it looks the same no matter what it is. If you use the default and just put a different color on it, it'll have the same kind of layout. Or is it the Crisis? Uh, I can't even remember. I don't know. I know it's like a generic engine main menu that actually was shown in this. And uh, it does feel whenever you play this game that it's made out of a lot of assets that a bunch of students just happened to have. And like went, right, what can we do to put all these things together? Just like this. <laughs> like, I'm sure they had a door for a lab somewhere, but put it in the middle of a field and makes it a little bit more incongruous. So um, yeah, Maze is literally running through a maze for most majority of the game. Um, may not be a corn maze, it could be a building maze, it could be any sorts of maze, but it is maze in some way, shape, or form. Uh, oh. Continuing on in my search for open ground. Yeah, you get introduced to the first thing you can pick up in the game. Um, yeah, you've got a English muffin you can pick up there. Then you actually pick up. I'll pick up. No. Other things can be picked up. But you actually now have a rock hard English muffin. You can take a look at the tips, tool tips for it, and see what it's useful for. Which uh, I'm not going to spoil for you in any way, shape, or form. Continue on here. Uh, I might play through a little bit until you get to see the opening narrative. Oh, I mean, it's outside of this opening narrative where you're actually here and alive. But uh, there is kind of a, a first interaction with other characters that might be worthwhile seeing. Alright, I need to. Um, what is it? Yeah. The other side. I think I can do that way. No, I can't either. I'm trying to remember what was the first thing you had to do in this game. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to remember this from memory because I actually did finish this game fairly, like, within the last 48 hours. But I remember the layout and run through of the game. Otherwise, you could be wandering through here for a while trying to figure out what it is you're meant to be doing. La di da. Da di da di da. Da di 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 da. Alright, is there anything in here that I can actually do? Moment? Not really. Um, oh, yeah. Recreate. Yep. Grab that. You in there. Oh, I'm feeling like I'm moving at speed here. Ah, get out of the way. That. Uh, oh, yeah. That. You in there. So it's actually literally just move object, put object into place that you need to put it in, and then move on to the next thing that you need to put into place. Uh, I'm obviously playing from memory here, so I'm assuming a lot of material 
that actually needs to be found. I'm just going like, yeah, I remember where that was. I remember what that was for. Open. Okay, so the door open. So the big thing is with uh, playing this is that certain pathways will be blocked to you when you're wandering around until you've actually pre-done all the things that need to be done to move on to the next section. It's a fairly intentional kind of design. Uh, right, I need something like this. Yeah, I need something I can pull that out. So, uh, there's nothing I can do in this place right now. Again, dead ends, left, right, center of the maze. I'm trying to remember what everything is. I think the first time I played through this on the first session, it was just uh, a hell for leather run from room to, from place to place, just picking up stuff, going like, all right, pick up everything. If everything gets picked up, then I can't possibly have left anything behind that I don't need. Because you'll easily spot it. Meanwhile, this time, I think I might have ran a little short. Oh, there we go. This is a good example. So anywhere you're actually kind of not meant to go just yet, you'll find this in your way. It's <laughs> a stack of boxes. And uh, the stack of boxes are in Congress as hell, but they make sense in, in, in the end up of the game. So wouldn't question it too much. Like, wait, game. This is up here. Yep. That with me. And oh, we can't go down there yet. Huh. I remember there being another path here, but I'm, it mustn't be unlocked yet. So yeah, uh... What am I doing? <clears throat> oh yeah, there's obviously stuff in the house I need to find. I um, can't turn on the light yet. We have a problem. What we're really looking for is a way to get the power back on. Which would be that nail that's uh, stuck into the wall back at the back end of the house up into the shed but i need to find an object that'll help me pry that out first oh. hey you need a box and a thing for a lever uh anything inside this room to take as far as i can remember no no uh, same thing right here Get us up into the next floor. Do 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 do. Um, I've noticed it's on here that there's actually uh, what normally would be in here is a lot of like little objects to pick up that were information about the game and about what's going on that kind of like sets a context for a lot of it. But the biggest problem is that the um. I think that I've actually, because I've already picked them up, they're not reappearing on the new game plus or the new game selection. So you're kind of missing out on a lot of this kind of stuff here. The uh, folios are actually already listed down. So a lot of this is just information. I don't want to like uh, let you see it for too long because it really will spoil the life out of the game. But there's uh, plenty to be seen that actually explains what's going on with this world. Why there's actually lab equipment and things in jars on people's desks and liner notes and all that kind of crack. Uh, it's all explained in the folios, but I've already picked them up, so you can't see. Okay. There's something that... I picked up the mallet up here, but I don't have the other object that I needed. Can you on this bit? I still need to find it. I'm trying to think. Have I forgotten something? I must have, I must have bypassed on as soon as I came into the house. Or before I even came into the house. Oh, wait. Good start. Bobby Finn. Um, that'll be for someone to block them. I, I, I imagine. <laughs> like, like, I'm essentially saying I imagine, but I've already completed this game and gone through it. This is the fact that you can easily forget like what that one object was that did the thing that did the thing that got you to the thing. I'm point digging around in the dark. But if anything was there to be found, it would be lit up with a white outline. Yeah, same here. Oh, lordy, lordy me. Where did I lose track? What I... How did I manage to do that? I, like, barely played the game. Um, Must be another path out here. Okay. Something like to pick up on the way. Yeah. 
Ah, that one. Trying to remember. There was no one else in that desk to pick up. There was just folios in the first place whenever I was like first in the game. I'm trying to think, like, am I backtracking for the purpose of backtracking, or was I actually I'm backtracking because there is things back here? So yeah, you can tell with it being a maze, literally a maze will get you lost and you will kind of lose track of what you're meant to be doing. So it's a, it's, it's that linear path of what was the creator thinking whenever he was making this to actually be there. You have to be in the moment along with them. I've, it applies to point and click games, it applies to this kind of game as well. You're literally memorizing where things are dropped off uh, so you can find them for the next time you run through. But the, uh, I'll have to be honest, there is no peril this game whatsoever so you can take your time you can wander back and forth nothing's coming to get you it's a part and parcel of the game I, it's a bit spoilery for me to say that there is no direct peril but there's no way to die unless you actually there's like one or two events that will stop the game and go like you should have done better at that and we'll redo for you to actually be able to make a pass if you can remember how to make a pass or know how to make a pass in the first place but majority of the time you are just wandering trying to find objects to stick together to make your way through this next current puzzle and it's not here. also notice i'm running constantly which becomes a bit of a screen on your left left hand because your movement speed without it isn't that fast i um, hope i'm not nauseating people by zooming through here with a uh frame rate of uh probably about 30 40 so for a second i can't even, i can't even tell you where people ask i can't tell because the way my system's set up I couldn't get over 30, even if it was unlocked, because of the hardware I'm using. Just because uh, it's the easiest way for me to split signals and stuff. But, uh, I don't worry about it. So, is there actually anything here that I have? Nah, nah nothing there that's gonna let me in. So, shit. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> well, what am I gonna talk about if I can't progress the plot and I've actually stumbled into my own. Laziness trap, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Walking myself in the corner. I'll see messing it up. Uh, if I can't get it, if I can't find the next step on the puzzle, I think I will just leave it be and let these kind of further investigate maze for your own purposes. If you want to go and check out the playthrough of maze, it was done on live stream uh, over the last couple of days. You can catch that in the archive over uh, over on twitch.tv. Uh, or if, you actually, if you're if you on Twitter, you can actually find the link for it. Because it'll be in my uh, broadcast history or my Twitch or my tweet history. So you can actually watch the YouTube video there if you would like. Uh, it's all, it, most of these streams I always put as unlisted after I finish broadcasting them. So the only way to see them is actually if you're going to go and look for the original link to the broadcast. I don't hide the I don't hide the, hide the videos at all, but I've made, it is kind of difficult for people to find them. It just keeps the uh, YouTube UI a little bit cleaner, so there's not a bunch of stuff sitting in the way. Am I going insane? Do I need to use the bobby pin to get that out of the shed? Because I thought it was going to be like some kind of scraper or something instead. Pretty sure it's not bobby pin to get that out. Is it? I thought it was pliers. Yeah, figured that would be the case. Um, no, okay. Seriously, so I'm kind of I'm at a loose end. I really am at a loose end. But I'm no, I know I've done it past this before because of the set I've completed. But my brain is just turning to tapioca while having to talk at the same time. as figuring it out. Um, I'm sure there are people just shouting, shouting at the screen now, going, "You ran past the thing!" But um, that's the nature of how to do it. Do it live! Do it live in front of other people. Um, nothing there. You can already look in this one here. Can I use the bobby pin? I thought we'd use a nail, but yeah, we need to call in a bit more. Boom, Uh, there it is. Right. I'm, 
I'm literally trapped in a loop here because I have no idea where I need to go next. If I explore the rest of the house, I might miss out somewhere in the house, possibly. Oh, such an idiot. That's what I needed, the nail clippers. Oh, god damn it. I knew I was being an idiot, though. That's the worst, that's the worst thing. I, like, I knew there was one thing I'd missed out. I'd already been in the kitchen. I'd ran back in there twice to drop off the bloody... Uh, yes, the bloody, bloody things. The bloody oil and the stopper into the sink, and I didn't open the cabinet right above it. Ah, get her, make it. Simple stuff, man. Simple stuff. See, right, get it. Now that we're making progress, I actually will let this roll on for a little bit longer. But I apologize to anybody who got like watching, going, Why am I watching him run through a crowded field full of fucking corn? Well, it's because I needed the nail, and now I have the nail, I know what I need to do. So we're going to go down here, drop this in, we're ready to rock and roll. It's nice to set up. Yep. Pull the lever, you work. Pull the fucking lever. Yep. Boom. Ding. Set up. Okay. Let's go upstairs and take a look around. Ain't that delightful? Now we can see stuff. Um. Hey, there we go. So we that. Oh, I just got stuck there for a second. And we got a compact disc, so that's our circular thing that we needed from the uh, from the house, or from, to get into the door of the lab. So now we need to get to the next thing that we need, the second thing. No. Not the house, no. Not in the house, I know exactly where I need to go though. Um, this way. This way. Nope. Not where I need to go. Get down. Where was I need to go? I know it. Uh, I remember. I remember. I remember. It's back this way. And no, wait. Going towards the barn. Yep, yep. Remember the barn. The way it's actually telling me, still instruct me as I go along. Yep, I'm definitely on the right path. New. New information being scrolled onto the screen means I've learned a new thing I've gotten in our place. Now, if they're trying to teach you about sprinting now, it's a little bit too late because god damn, if I've been sprinting, this would have been a slog and a half. Alright, so, gotta be something. Oh, yeah, no, I remember what these rooms were for. Hmm. Hmm. Moving on up, moving on now. Time to get ready. Okay. Problem is, I keep on running down here thinking, alright, there's a folio down here to get, but uh, obviously, not the guy. I did not miss a single folio on the early stuff of the game. I just kind of missed it all on the heel end. I was just excited to get to the end, and it's like, oh, I could go and look at that room, or I could go on. Nothing. Nothing. Like this. And then I round the back of the barn. Next bit. Yep. Uh-oh. Where is it? No, definitely. Crickter! Ah. I was down this way that I had to go. No tractor. <laughs> no, no, you don't like. Oh, itchy nose, itchy nose. Yep, going on to the silo. Ah, excellent. That's next bit. After the silo. Yep, and take that with me, and click, and that's me in. Ah. Door. Set up so I can... Even those pliers. With the need of those pliers, I go right here. Fine. Whoop whoop. 
moving at a lightning speed because I know what I'm doing. I could speed run this game now, I imagine. Yeah. Kind of odd. Single stock sitting there on its own. But we can't open the box here. It won't let us do so. But what we do find is. <gasps> dun dun dun! This dude has actually like clipped himself so many times. And especially two in the nipples. Very classy. And the um, problem is he's like. Ten. Severed his hand or somehow broke. It kind of burned everything and then deciduated. Except for the bit that was covered by a leather glove. But uh, yeah. Don't know what this thing is yet. You won't know what it is yet. But I'll be able to. I probably won't be able to show you. Because I'm not going to play it all the way through on the stream again. But uh, yeah. You want to take this hand. And obviously we need to go somewhere. It feels weird to actually have a right hand on your. Or sorry. A left hand on your right hand side. Looks weird. I'm carrying it in a weird way I suppose. Ew, 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 ew. Right. Left. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing everything right now, but it's just the fact that I'm still going to start not right in my directions. Because, to be honest, as much as it's fun to actually do the right things and make progress in this, wow, a lot of running. A lot of running from to and fro, picking up things. Do you, do you, can you figure out what I need to do next? I need the hand from the inside of this for the recognition. How am I going to get the hand out of the glove? I hear you cry. And guess what? Boom. That's exactly how you do it. That's how you get a human hand. So, uh, we are at the point of... What point am I at now? Got two of the things. But I don't have the third thing. I wonder did I get the third thing from putting the two other things in? That's what I'm curious about. I can't even remember. Uh, not doing that way. Pass this. This way here. Do -do 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 -do. This is like a land speeder flying through this forest. Like I feel like a kid from Signs! Or just a very confused alien inside, uh... Oh, Gibson's... Cornfield. Yo. Bing. Bong. And we need a key fob for in there. And I'm trying to figure out where the key fob was. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I remember it being in somewhere really stupid and awkward because of the need in the needle of those pliers. Ah, oh, god damn it. That was this was the stupid one. I remember, I, I actually remember running around the needle. I was probably going like, alright, obviously I got this before I got anything else. It's either this or the English muffin I need to use. So what is it that I need to use this on? I'm trying to remember what it was that it actually had the fob inside it. Oh, I hate having the fact that, the fact that I did the long run back to that. And just to realize it just as I arrived. I'm like, ah, yep, yep. I know I need to find, find this somewhere. Uh, oh, shit. I'm gonna scan every object with a couple of spins around until I actually think about what it was that I pulled it out. Put something in the sausage. Ah! Oh! Uh, yes, 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 yes. God. Gotta love tooltips. Sometimes these games actually do have tooltips that are, like, because they're, the logic they know is a little bit off. It makes sense how to fix it, but boom, problem solved. Yep, go into that, give us what we need. Yep, warp key fob. We take that with us all the way up the stairs. Ah, speedrun tactics, man, speedrun tactics. You can actually bounce up these stairs a little bit faster. Nope, not where I'm going to go. Not where I'm going to go. Where is the goddamn... What the hell? Oh, there it is. I was trying to find where the stairs up was. Go around to the table. Oh, hey, you down there? And of course, mallet's always useful. Boom, we have our key, and now we can actually start the plot. Yes! <laughs> All right, this is gonna be exactly how I wanted to end the video to get to see a little bit of the plot. Now, I'm gonna fly back in your memory. Did any of you guys have been looking at me weird because I haven't mentioned the things that were running ahead or moving ahead of you into the forest or into the maze just before you started? And they looked to be like a lot of their big stocky brethren. Yeah? You weirded out by that? I'm going the wrong goddamn way. If you were weirded out by that, we're going to be having an interesting conversation just shortly. 
which is going to be extended by the fact that I went the wrong direction, so now I need to backtrack and then go back the way I wanted to go. No fast travel for you. So, yeah, that's the way I want to go. Down the first path, the path. <laughs> Just feel like I'm actually... I'm waiting for somebody to pop out of the forest and actually challenge me to a Pokemon battle. We're on the way to Viridian City. Meet my friends along the way. Oi. Oi. Oh, God damn, I'm keeping in the wrong turns. And... Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The plot has arrived. Hey! 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> So you yeah, guys, answer a riddle before you're this is our introduction to, to the actual main plot. <clears throat> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. Four legs in the morning, oh, two legs in the day, afternoon, and three legs at night. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was he is the animal man? An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I You're all Jim. Jim. I thought he was Jim. You're all Jim Bill. Corn. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. So, yeah. Obviously, we're being talked to by intelligent porn who are analyzing our every move and looking at us weird. And this is where the weirdness begins. Oh, like watch you out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. <laughs> yeah. So obviously that's kind of like their first introduction to the weirdness of the plot. I think this might actually be a good place to stop. Oh, yeah. Nah, it's going to be a doing a countdown. But yeah, this is the kind of thing you start seeing all throughout the time. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get down here because of your stupid experiment. Moron. Then response. Hey, Ted, don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pallets and I have to get rid of them somehow. What? You mean food pallets? Do you hit the button? Food pallet! Yummy! I feel like a gerbil. You got this countdown's gonna happen. It makes you, makes you do it a number of times, but I am going to, uh, well, I might actually do it each time now and just, like, talk to you guys as we finish off for the first part of Maze. If you'd be interested in seeing the rest of the game uh, in a fresh playthrough with my eyes already knowing it, you guys not knowing it, you can either uh, comment underneath to actually get to see that, or you can, of course, give me a shout uh, in the comments, or like, uh, take a look at the videos from previous recordings, or you can give me a shout in the comments and we'll actually be able to start and play through this again. It's not a long playthrough, but it might be an interesting playthrough for you guys to check out. But the um, maze, <laughs> the maze is the maze. It continues on. It keeps on keeps you entertained. But I've got to move on uh, because this is just a cold open. This is a first look. This is a reason to actually come and check out Maze for yourselves if you want don't want to see me playing it. If you enjoyed watching me play through it, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. You can always do that, or the follow, or the like, or whatever it actually is appropriate for whatever source you're watching this on. But if you can't do that and you don't want to do that, just remember the name, man. Pastiche of skin. It's easy to find me. Just type it into Google, search it in. I am not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. Now, of course, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube. There'll be a button up there I'd really like you to press because that helps support the channel and keep me alive. And over here will actually be a playlist where probably crawled opens. Over on the far side will actually be a most recent videos on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you based on the user analytics and things you do on YouTube and things you choose to watch. It'll pick a video out of mine that will be most entertaining to you. So I highly recommend you check that out. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.